Are you looking for simple DIY projects to add cottage style charm to your bathroom? And some inspiration for specific cottage style decor items from thrift and antique stores? Today, I will take you shopping, then we will look at the haul and tackle some DIY projects, and finally, we will style and tour the finished bathroom. Good morning, friend. If we haven't met, my name is Rachel from the blog StoneCottageHome.com, where we cultivate the art of home. Today, we will create that personalized, handmade looking space in our bathroom by shopping for thrifted and antique items, tackling some DIY, and finally styling this cottage style bathroom. Stick around to the end of the video where I will share with you our thoughts, pros and cons on how this bathroom remodel turned out. You wouldn't want to go to thrift or antique stores, would you? I thought so. Let's go shopping. You know me, the treasure hunt always starts at the thrift store and then we move to the antique store. Right off the bat, I discovered these lovely ship dishes, which are very hard to come by and one of Matt's favorites. Obviously not for the bathroom, but you have gotta take advantage of these things when you find them. You can bet several pieces came home with us. This collection of brass intrigued me and sometimes I get so into thrifting I forget ah, I'm on camera. Always, always check out lamps and artwork. And what do you know, but the thrift store has a sprinkling of clocks for us as well. The ornate brass and fluted frosted glass on this wall sconce caught my eye, but unfortunately it was bent beyond repair. It's so pretty! Now here's a serious clock contender. I love the curves, obviously the blue and white, it's antique, and only $3. The antique linen tablecloth I have for making a curtain in the bathroom is a bit short, so I'm looking for another fabric to blend with it, and this one at $1.99 is the right color. Now it gets even better. Here we are, off to the antique shop. This one is a large warehouse full of many different booths for every style you could imagine. Antique shopping is like stepping into another world that is becoming more and more familiar. It feels more like home. I can imagine this buffet in our entryway. Window shopping for antiques is a fabulous way to develop your personal style and to give you an idea of what pieces you would actually use in your home.
Here is where thrifting before antiquing pays off. This is the piece I was looking for that I discovered on Pinterest, but she was asking over $30 and I found the same piece for about five at the thrift shop. I find antique shopping relaxing and inspirational at the same time. So many pieces are the style that Matt and I both love, but also they're displayed in a way where you could picture using them in your own home. I'm sure many of you have a running list of things that you're looking for when you're thrift and antique shopping. It's the same with me. I have small items, large items, and things I'm looking for for almost every room in the house. Now for a touch of retail shopping. I don't know if you enjoy Tuesday morning, but I love the random assortment and good prices, especially their bath collections. They have lovely bar soaps in every shape, size, and scent, as well as hand soaps and a wonderful stationery collection if you're looking for lovely thank you cards. Now that I have found my footed milk glass bowl from the thrift shop, I would like to fill it with an assortment of beautifully scented bar soaps. Here are the assortment of treasures from thrift shops, antique shops, estate sales, or from shopping around my house, and a few gifts sprinkled in. This blue peacock coaster, inherited from my great aunt, would make a great earring catcher. I'm excited to add this hand embroidered vintage linen as a personal touch to our bathroom. Between the peacock coaster, this antique bone dish, and the silver jewelry box, I hope to condense my jewelry collection. I've had this blue and white ironstone pitcher from England for a while now and thought it would be perfect when I was shopping my house for holding makeup brushes. As we go through this haul and the next haul, see which items you recognize from our shopping trips earlier this morning. The landscape print behind the clock on the left has a special meaning and was thrifted for $3. The original oil behind the clock on the right I found at an estate sale for $15 and the large Holland painting I found for 10 at the thrift shop. Which piece do you think will end up in the bathroom? One of these milk glass cubes came from Etsy, the other from Marketplace, and I already know what I'm going to store in them. I can't wait to show you. One Christmas, my mom ordered me some shortbread cookies in this vintage Dutch tin. This metal planter was between five and seven dollars at the thrift store and is perfect for a trash can. Now for the next haul. This haul contains most of the things I found online or in retail shops. This laundry basket I did thrift and was pleased to find one for under $10. If you are interested, I found a similar one on Amazon. I will have that linked for you below. I was hoping to add some fresh living plants to our space and this set of three ceramic pots on Amazon were perfect. All of the clear plastic pump bottles I found on Amazon, I got two sizes because we have a taller shelf and a shorter shelf. 
The lined seagrass baskets were $5 each from our local Hancocks when they were going out of business. To add those charming cottage touches to the bathroom, I have a special DIY project in mind for this dreamy toile fabric. Stick around to see what happens. For two or three dollars, I thrifted this milk glass dish. I love the dainty pearl edge and the trellis etching on the bottom. Remember friend, projects like this take time. It has taken several months to gather all of these lovely materials together to stock and style our cottage style bathroom. And I'm really excited to get started on the DIY projects and the final touches. that special project I mentioned with this blue and white toile fabric. This toile adds such wonderful cottage charm. Now I'm still interested in aging this basket, possibly with antiquing wax. If you have any tips or suggestions, please leave them below. Now to add a handmade touch to our bathroom, let's make a cafe curtain out of this hand embroidered linen table topper. I have to say, it was difficult to cut into this exquisite piece of handiwork. The wonderful thing about working with quality fabrics is they cut well, they press well, and they sew well. To begin, we will press our cut side over twice and sew down both edges. As I prefer not to use pins unless I have to since it's much faster, I use a steam iron to give a nice crease and hold the seam in place until I get it hemmed. For those of you out there who are curious, this is my sewing area and the project on the design board is called Trip Around the World. My colors are chocolate and rose and this quilt's destination is the guest bedroom. Once both sides of these curtain panels are sewn, we are halfway finished. I have to say, this is one of the easiest DIY projects I've done. I grabbed a narrow extension rod we had on hand and folded the curtain panel over just far enough to create a pocket. Now to stitch down all of those delicate scalloped edges. Just imagine the skillful hands of the patient person who put every one of those stitches in to make these perfectly even scallops. For this step, I will be taking my time to follow those scallops as I stitch down this curtain pocket. All done! Let's see how the curtain fits the window. The width is suitable, but I'm not quite sure about the length. Let's try out that seersucker with the hand crocheted lace edging to see if the two pieces will mix. 
After several unsuccessful attempts to combine these two fabrics, I decided that the simplicity of an extended cafe style was ideal for this window. I simply flipped the panels and tucked the hem edge against the wall. Now the fun part! Let's put this bathroom together! It really is amazing what a difference these clear bottles make in the bathroom for quieting the visual noise that all of the brightly colored products can create. Besides the clear bottles, another tip for simplifying your bathroom is to decant or repackage everything. Also, consider color palette. Even the mouthwash you see here is blue to go with the bathroom. Cosmetics, as well as some backstock, are tucked into these seagrass baskets for attractive storage. Let's step back in time briefly. These glass shelves and the squatty vanity were the bulk of our storage until Matt built a custom cabinet replacing those glass shelves. The cabinets were lined with a toile dollhouse wallpaper. The cabinet doors were reused from the original vanity. And now it's time to stock and style our new to us cabinets. If you are interested, I will link as many products as possible for you below, including this bamboo Lazy Susan. Now for more storage and one of the special features that I have been wanting to add to our bathroom. This tiny bathroom is connected to our master bedroom and is where Matt and I get ready for work every morning. A vintage inspired glass shelf in the space below the mirror and above the sink seemed like a pretty practical way to display those items that we use on a daily basis. If this style appeals to you, I have a similar shelf linked below. I just love the clean lines and continuity of the silver fixtures. In this tiny bathroom, keeping things simple is crucial to making the space feel uplifting and airy. 
And now to sprinkle in some of my favorite blue and white antique touches. Then to stock our tiny medicine cabinet. So excited to finally use these milk glass canisters. Even though I dropped the lid and broke it on one of them, it has worked out perfectly because the Q-tips wouldn't have fit under the lid anyway. These have been on my thrift list for about two years and it took a while to get three of them, but it is so fun to see how perfectly they fit inside of our tiny medicine cabinet. In keeping with our use of clear glass, this tiny cup holds the daily placards and a small pair of scissors for trimming a mustache. Another tip for minimizing visual clutter in small spaces is to remove labels. While the three square milk glass containers were on my list, imagine my surprise when this rectangular piece popped up at the thrift store for $3. It fits, once again, perfectly in our tiny medicine cabinet and holds all of our daily cosmetics. As you may have experienced from shopping secondhand, sometimes there are many things that you can save on, which allows you then to splurge on other things you wouldn't normally have bought. Case in point are these Ralph Lauren bath towels. We have had them for 10 years and they look just as good as new. By purchasing this kind of quality, it adds so much luxury to your bathroom. The $10 wicker hamper houses the rest of our bath towels and fresh hand towels. And for the crowning touch, we will add our original oil painting. If you were guessing it would be the lighthouse, you were correct. What a difference art always makes in a space. This is probably my favorite part. Now friend, for the icing on the cake, a full bathroom tour, and my thoughts on this renovation project, both pros and cons. Here is our newly remodeled tiny bathroom just off the master bedroom. There is nothing quite like seeing a space that you imagined, created a Pinterest board for, thrifted for, and worked so hard to create, finally come to life. In this small space, our biggest consideration, and the area that needed the most work, was the shower. If you remember, the shower was six inches smaller. We knocked out the back wall and reclaimed some space from the guest closet. The tiles were broken and loose, there was a lot of black mold, nowhere to store our bottles, the shower head was too low, plus a dropped ceiling created a confined, heavy feeling. In the space you see today, these issues have been resolved. The tiles are all new and lovely. There's a place to store bottles. We've raised the shower head as well as the dropped ceiling. Next to the shower, we have custom cabinetry built by Matt. Initially, we had shallow glass shelves here, which were very impractical for storage. 
The original vanity was exchanged for an elegant pedestal sink and we reused the vanity doors for this cabinet. No more black mold. This river pebble tile has been delightful. With the addition of this thrifted hamper to the side of the pedestal sink, we actually have more storage in this tiny bathroom now than we did before. To the right of the sink, this tiny medicine cabinet houses the everyday cosmetic items you need to get ready for your day. Opening this cabinet with its wall wallpaper every morning is like opening a package. Because the Lord blessed us with a great deal on this pedestal sink, it was $40 versus $300 to $350 online, we were able to splurge on the faucet and this vintage inspired glass shelf. I believe that covers all of the pros for this bathroom remodel. There are just three things I would change if we had it to do over again. We achieved our goal of creating the visual height over the shower, but proportionately, the door is a bit short. You can see it's even lower than the mirror. In hindsight, we would choose a taller, higher quality shower door. In addition, I would look for vintage lighting for over the sink instead of something that's builder grade, but it's okay. This can still be done at a later date if we wish. And lastly, I would choose all of our fixtures to be brass to add a bit of warmth and old world charm to this space. Regardless of these small changes, this is the most luxurious bathroom I've ever had and I'm so grateful for all the work that Matt put in to make my dream come true. Out of all the DIY projects and vintage treasures that we added to this bathroom, which one is the most inspiring for you? I would love to know. I hope you enjoyed today's visit and gathered some great inspiration for adding cottage style charm to your bathroom on a budget. Matt and I are currently working on another makeover, which we plan to share soon. If you enjoyed your visit today, please leave a comment and a thumbs up. I am already looking forward to our next visit. Until then, thank you for coming along and take care.